In this video, you'll see how to make a pivot chart that is clustered and stacked. We've got a cluster for each region and a stack for each year showing the four quarters of those years. This is Deborah Dalglage from Contextures.com. To create this chart, we're using data that's in a named Excel table. If I click in one of the heading cells, you can see table design up at the top. There are four regions, and we've got data over two years for every quarter in each year. So we're using this to create a pivot table and then a pivot chart. To create the pivot table, select any cell in this named Excel table and go to the Insert tab on the ribbon. Click Tables, Pivot Table. Here, it's automatically selected our table, which is named TBL Sales. I'll put this pivot table on a new worksheet, and I'm not going to add it to the data model. So I'll click OK. And here's our empty pivot table. And at the right, we've got the pivot table fields. And those are the four columns that are in the named Excel table with the data. To add fields to the pivot table, we're going to think about how we want the chart to look. In the row area, we want the fields that should be across the bottom of the chart, the regions and the years. So I'm going to put region first, because that's our main grouping. And then for each region, we want to see a stacked column showing the quarters for each year. So I'll check year next. Excel decided because that's a number, I want it in the values area, which is not what I want. So I'm going to move it in the pivot table field list and just drag it below region. So now we've got the region name and the year. Within each year, we want to see a stack that shows the four quarters. So I'm going to take quarter and put it into the columns area. So this is what we want to stack in a column. And that now shows across the top. And the values that we want to see in our stacked column is the sales amount. So if I check that, it should go into values automatic. So those are the numbers that we want to see for each year for each region. The next step is to create a pivot chart based on this pivot table. And to do that, I'm selecting any cell in this pivot table then go up to the Insert tab, and for the chart type, I'll click Column, and under 2D Column, I want a stacked column chart. So it puts the pivot chart right on the worksheet. It overlaps our pivot table, so you can do a bit of formatting to clean this up. The first thing you might do is move this to a different sheet. And if I right-click, Move Chart, you could put it on a chart sheet or put it on an existing sheet. So now it's on a sheet all on its own. We can see the groups. They're spread apart a bit, so I'm going to change the gap width to bring everything closer together. To change the gap width, right click on any of the columns and Format Data Series. In the Format Data Series pane that appears, and the gap width is at the bottom. I'm going to make that a much smaller number, 20. That brings everything closer together. And you've got a pivot chart grouped by region and year and stacked by quarter. 